So yes, now there have been instructions provided for uh, all students to uh, download uh, WAMP, the Windows Apache MySQL PHP installer. And of course, that doesn't really help you much if you're a Mac user. So there's not a WAMP version per se for OS X for your Mac. Uh, being as how the W is uh, strictly for Windows, there's also a LAMP for Linux. We're not dealing with Linux necessarily in OS X, although there's plenty of Linux behind it. Uh, so we're going to use um, one of two possible things. I may come back to the second one later, because the second one is um, a more universal, uh, free, open source, uh, available to just about everyone. It's called uh, ZAMP with an X, that uh, it's XAMPP, -P, that runs on both uh, Mac and PC. However, we're going to go with the easier um, the easier option, which is going to be MAMP, the Macintosh Apache MySQL PHP software. And you can find that, I'll have these links for you on eCampus, but it's uh, MAMP, M-A-M-P dot I-N-F-O dot info. The reason why I don't necessarily want to go with this right away is that I know for a long time MAMP was free and it still is a free download and it's still free to try and install and all that, but their main product is MAMP Pro. So Pro costs money and I don't want you to spend any money for this class. Uh, we're going to be using uh, free tools whenever possible and hopefully that's going to be all the time being as how these are open source products that we're dealing with. And like I said, if this turns out that uh, later you need to buy it or it asks you to buy it, don't buy it. And uh, I'll show you how to do uh, ZAMP instead. That being said, I'm going to uh, click on the Downloads menu. And uh, MAMP is also kind of universal. You can get for Windows. Uh, but uh, since we're talking about Macs, I'm going to click on MAMP and MAMP Pro for the Mac. And when I download it to my uh, desktop, I'll save it there. It's a rather large project that you're downloading, 362 megabytes. Hopefully, this will not take more than a minute. And I see it already in my window. It's coming in. I'm going to uh, pause momentarily and uh, come back in about a minute. And I'm back. It has just finished downloading. Uh, let me quickly show you my desktop. I'm going to uh, move over the MAMP and MAMP Pro. It's basically the MAMP Pro uh, package that you downloaded. You will be installing a version that is both MAMP and MAMP Pro. Basically, it's going to be a trial version, I guess, for a couple of weeks uh, where you get all the features. And then when you decide that you're not going to buy it or, or pay money for it, it'll just revert to MAMP. Regular MAMP um, may have all the features that we need for this class. All we need is access to MySQL and PHP and a server, and that should really be it. But uh, like I said, if, it, if this doesn't work uh, when we need to use uh, my PHP info and the programs that we'll be using, uh, or at least the PC users will be using with WAMP, uh, then uh, if that's not available, MAMP, we can get rid of and install something else. So let me double click on the package and just really quick follow their directions. This is an enterprise product, so it's got a long, long list of stuff that you they want you to know. I'll click on continue. Basically, we agree that we're not going to mess with the software too much other than to uh, work on class and then I'm going to click on install give it permission to uh, access the applications folder and let it put the files onto applications and uh, start to change some things in the background one thing before we go on uh, you might want to check and this may not be a problem with MAMP it could be with XAMPP or some of the others Check on your Apple menu in the top left and go to uh, System Preferences and check your System Preferences at the very bottom. If we've already installed MySQL in the Workbench, click here just to make sure 
that you can see this information. There is an active instance of MySQL running. So uh, that's something to watch out for with some programs. I think that MAMP will override this. It will use different ports. Uh, but just in case you run into any problems. Yes, uh, let's see. Let's try to uh, stop MySQL server so that it doesn't interfere with our program and uh, continue with MAMP. I want to close because the installation was successful and um, and that's pretty much it. It's installed. I'm going to open up my applications folder. I'm going to the go menu, go to applications, see my applications and look for map. Not there. Let's see map. It's in alphabetical order. So I have a map and a map pro folder. Actually, the Map Pro is an icon for the application. That's the one I want. I'll double click on that. It's approved since it's been downloaded from the internet. Put my password. And then I wait. Tells me that this full, full uh, working demo will expire on October 1st, 2018. So, yeah, in about a couple of weeks. Uh, not going to buy it now. just want to see how much it costs. Uh, oh, it's $70. Yeah, let's not buy it. Not today. I mean, maybe if you uh, really like it and you become a pro and you think, oh, I need to use this program. In the meantime, though, I'm just going to be using the, uh, the free application. It's telling me that it's preparing my SQL environment. It will create copies of the MySQL databases that are already there. And I'll click on continue. I really don't have too many. I think I have the one database and uh, then it's going to tell me what's new in map pro 5 and uh, you can read this if you want apparently they uh, have put a lot of emphasis on wordpress and uh, that's maybe the big difference between map and map pro so they're really proud of that i'll close that let me bring in this and this is the map pro host and just like the pc version what's basically happened is, is that it's a server has been created you have access to php and you have access to mysql hence the uh, map in macintosh apache is the server that's what's loading up your your website the m is for mysql which is what we're very interested in for this course because then we want to run uh, PHP my admin it's an independent and free software package that allows you to manipulate databases and the P is for PHP which is uh, one of the main languages of the internet uh, for example Facebook is written in PHP a, a modified version of PHP but PHP nonetheless localhost this is your computer that your your directory where you will be saving files that will contain database and uh, PHP commands. Once you put them inside your local host, uh, the software, uh, rather your computer will use the software to be able to understand what's happening with PHP and MySQL. So now that I have this open, this is the similar to the uh, PC window where you see all the apps that you have access to. Here is very similar. We have hosts. We have our local host is active. And uh, now we just tell it we're going to start the Apache um, the Apache uh, server. And it's going. Uh, Nginx w may be actually what we use later rather than XAMPP to uh, replace MAMP if it becomes a problem. I hope that that is not the case. We're going to ignore it for now. We don't need Nginx. Uh, we're going to use MySQL though. So I clicked on both of these buttons so that they're turned on. And uh, that's uh, pretty much it. The uh, applications are installed. You have 14 more days to uh, fully explore this if you want to. Uh, like I said, fully explore means every single option. Once two weeks go by and you haven't bought it, uh, hopefully more than them just bugging you to uh, you know look at their page then uh, you know it, it shouldn't really they shouldn't really bug you too much it should you should be able to use the uh, basic program uh, and uh, hopefully we'll be having access to PHP mostly is what I need PHP and MySQL to be running so all that being said on hosts 
there's localhost. I'm going to right click on that and tell it to open up the host in the web browser. And here's my local host. It's uh, on port 8888. And the virtual host was set up successfully. So this page right here that tells me, you can see this page, your new virtual host was set up successfully, etc. cetera. Uh, then uh, please do a screen capture of this window and turn it in for the assignment uh, now wrongfully titled uh, Install WAMP. Since you are a Mac user, you have installed MAMP and you have completed the assignment.